Welcome to TPM Vids Disney Beat, where we talk about all things Disney. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified when we upload a new video. We also have Instagram and Twitter. You can find us at TPM Videos. We all love a classic Disney ride, but sometimes the magic is interrupted when the rides malfunction and break down. 2020 has been quite the year for some wild Disney ride breakdowns. This video today has everything from sinking boats to dark rides with lights on, animatronic malfunctions, and in-show exits. Now, if you have a breakdown or malfunction you want to share for a chance to be featured in a future video, you can send it to the email address on the screen. So without further ado, please keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside as we count down the top 10 Disney ride breakdowns, malfunctions, and in-show exits. Number 10. This first breakdown takes us to Hollywood Studios on Rise of the Resistance, in the room with the massive Star Destroyer guns firing into space. Transport power. Please stay seated. Operations will resume shortly. Oh my god. <laughs> This breakdown video was sent in by Aspen in July of 2020, and what's cool here is that most of the show effects are still running. You just have the work lights on and no music. Mission, please turn around and exit the resistance base in the manner in which you entered. How do we do that? Well, like with any Disney ride breakdown, after you're waiting in your ride vehicle, a cast member does come to the rescue to begin the in-show exit procedure. First question is, is everybody comfortable walking downstairs? Yes. yes. Okay. Excellent. No wheelchairs needed? No. Awesome. Alright, we're going to get you guys out one by one. Please stand by for now this is a pretty simple in-show exit since there are exits to backstage hallways all along the ride path. This one here would be behind this current ride vehicle. So once the cast members release the seatbelts and open the ride vehicle doors, it's just a hallway and a few stairs to get back into the park. Now although Rise of the Resistance opened in December of 2019, the ride is still seeing a lot of downtime. When it breaks down, it takes about an hour to reset the attraction, so that's where a lot of the time is spent when it's down. It's a fantastic ride, but very technologically complex, so hopefully they get these kinks worked out soon. Number 9 Staying at Walt Disney World, we'll head into Under the Sea Journey of the Little Mermaid at Magic Kingdom. Now, this ride is notorious for stopping, and I bet you've been on the ride before and heard Usually the ride gets going again, but sometimes it actually does break down and the work lights need to come on. This next video was sent in by the Disney child on Instagram who caught a pretty interesting breakdown in the kiss the girl scene. Now, there's a lot happening here. It looks like the video started with them powering the show lights back up, but then you have Sebastian's eyes being powered down. <laughs> then to continue the trend of unsettling, Ariel begins to slowly slouch forward. I mean, it looks like they're ready to fall into a deep sleep. I don't know what's more unsettling though, the slouched Ariel and Eric animatronics, or the fact that Sebastian is not moving, but blinking again. Attention under the seat, please remain seated, your ride could begin at any time, thank you. In the end, I guess they couldn't get the ride operating again, despite their dedicated efforts. So it ended with a short walkthrough of the remainder of the show scenes to the unload area to complete the in-show exit procedure. Okay! Number 8 An attraction that really needs some love at Walt Disney World is Carousel of Progress. There have been malfunctions for days and it really seems like it's been neglected for far too long. One issue that hasn't been fixed is the sound system in the first act. So there's a great big beautiful tomorrow Shining at the end of every day there's a great big beautiful tomorrow. Yep, that's the number one Disney dad singing a cappella. 
Since late 2019, this was a common malfunction that's now made its way into 2020. And it isn't just the lack of music when John is singing, there's no musical underscore either. Yeah, it looks like the Robins are getting ready to celebrate Valentine's Day today. This is what you should hear. Yeah, it looks like the Robins are getting ready to celebrate Valentine's Day today. What year is it? The musical underscore sets the tone. Without it, the scene feels really dull and lacks a lot of energy. Well, you know what kind of sport I am. I only hope I have an evening as romantic as yours and mother's. Something is missing. And Patricia's curling iron is spinning around her head. Oh, this poor attraction. But this is what you should hear. Well, you know what kind of sport I am. I only hope I have an evening as romantic as yours and mother's. In my honest opinion, it's pretty bad show since it's an ongoing problem. If it was a one-off, I'd say, you know, things happen and it'll be fixed. But this is a major malfunctioning issue that needs to be addressed. So Disney, please just give Carousel of Progress the love it deserves. Thank you. Number 7 Next, we'll travel into Spaceship Earth at Epcot, and it looks like we got the right update we've all been waiting for. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Spaceship Earth is my world of Warcraft. What should my future be? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Wait, this is no breakdown, but it's a pretty weird and hilarious malfunction that happened at the end of July of this year. After speaking to Haley, who posted the video on TikTok, she said that once their picture was taken, the screen went black, and then this control panel for the graphics card appeared. I guess we now know that touchscreens at Disney run on Intel HD graphic cards. The screen's usually dark during this portion of the ride, and I would assume someone was playing with the graphics settings on the main server that these touchscreens are connected to. But I wonder if any of the other screens had the same problem. What's even more hilarious is that they were actually able to select options on the screen. What should my future be? Oh! <laughs> now this lasted for the entire ride, then once they began their descent back to Earth, the usual prompts for choosing your future appeared. It's a pretty hilarious malfunction to catch on camera, and I guess we just gotta thank the Phoenicians for this one. <laughs> Number 6 now, what's creepier than a ride on It's a Small World with some broken animatronics? Well, how about adding a ride on It's a Small World with no music at all? Oh, it might have fallen out of the cabinet when I was looking for it. I, I didn't take any out there. This ride through was captured by WDW Park Videos on YouTube. And seeing how the work lights are on, the attraction was definitely malfunctioning. This included some of the animatronics not working either. Don't you think there's just something unsettling about a silent ride experience with just the squeaking sounds of the animatronics? Now this went on for the entire ride and there was no in-show exit. But how would you feel being on It's a Small World during this situation? Comment below. I've never been in here when it's been quiet. This is the weirdest thing. Number five. I'm gonna be your skipper for as far as we get, but even more importantly, if you don't laugh at my jokes, I will be your swimming instructor. Usually when a Jungle Cruise skipper says this, they're obviously kidding and being punny, but nothing could have predicted what happened on February 27th, 2020 at Magic Kingdom. Hey, skip, 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 join, hey, join. Yup, you're seeing that right. As a Jungle Cruise boat made its way into the Nile River, it somehow malfunctioned and water started to make its way into the boat. We're sinking. In less than two minutes, it went from floating to submerged underwater. Just listen to the stream of water. It literally sounds like Schweitzer Falls, only instead of the backside of water, it's the underside of water. This is probably one of the most shocking ride breakdowns we've seen in a while, which in a way was like a little metaphor of what to expect from 2020. Now the passengers weren't stranded for too long and in about 20 minutes they were rescued. This video shows the rescue taking place 
And thankfully, this part of the river isn't too deep. I mean, a lot of water made it into the boat, but if it was in a deeper portion of the river, like the hippo pool, then this could have been much worse. She don't want to fall in that water. That water's gonna come up and you're gonna be doing the same thing in a second. Although people were standing on seats and edges trying to take shelter, everyone was safe. Shockingly, this isn't the first time a Jungle Cruise boat has sank. According to Greg Angel, his friend Michelle sunk the first boat in 2004, well before social media was a thing, so who would have known? All I can say is that hopefully this is the last time a boat sinks, but as they say, things do come in threes. Number 4 This next one isn't a ride breakdown, but I figured you wouldn't mind a good old animatronic malfunction. It's sort of become a tradition to talk about Jose on the Grand Fiesta Tour, and he's back with some malfunctions following a very specific timeline. On July 19th, 2020, that Disney boy on Twitter tagged us in this video that shows a Jose who doesn't seem to be doing too well. He seems kind of jittery. Probably a little nervous about performing for an audience again after having four months off. Well, then on July 21st, two days later, he totally freaked out and Magical News Live on Twitter caught Jose back on the ground. I feel like at this point, that's Jose's happy place. So this happened around 5 p.m., but the malfunction was quickly addressed and probably not in the way you're thinking. In a quick turn of events, Magical News Live caught this memorial service for Jose later that same evening. The animatronic was covered up in props to conceal his resting place. I mean, you'd never know he was there. The next day the ride reopened and Jose was nowhere to be found. Missing. Gone. Where is he? We don't know. His spirit flew the coop, but they did place some flowers on the ground in memory of where he once stood. Now don't worry because this story does have a happy ending like every Disney story. Jose may have been MIA for over a week, but on July 31st he was reunited with the band, where he continues to sing his little heart out. Number 3 the newest ride at Walt Disney World is Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Since opening in March, it's had its share of breakdowns, but not to the extent of Rise of the Resistance. Generally, it's handling operations very well. But Park Hopper's show on Twitter caught a breakdown while they were in the tunnel scene with Mickey and Minnie. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you hit that track switch. Gosh, everyone! Looks like we're experiencing a brief delay! Please remain seated, and we'll get your runaway railway running away again real soon! Now, in another video sent in of a breakdown in the exact same spot, you get a rare glimpse of the car resetting for the next train, which is pretty cool to see. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to that thing go. Now, breaking down in this scene makes for another straightforward in-show exit. Attention, Runaway Railway riders. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties. Please remain seated in your train car until a cast member arrives to assist you. After a brief time waiting, a cast member comes to open the train doors and all the guests are walked off the ride. Now, the first time I was personally on the ride back in March, it did break down for a few minutes in Daisy's dance studio. So, when you briefly stop and no evacuation is needed, this is what you hear. Attention riders, we have temporarily stopped Mickey and Minnie's runaway railway. Please remain seated. Number 2 This next one takes us into Indiana Jones and the Temple of the Forbidden Eye at Disneyland. The breakdown from January 2020 was sent in to us by John Lucarelli. Now this was sort of an odd breakdown experience. So they were stuck here for a little while, but there was no in-show exit needed. Instead, they were sent through the ride with the work lights on, with only the sound of the hydraulics and motors of the ride vehicles, screaming guests, and very, very glitchy audio. Oh. Leave it, I got it. The 
ride was supposed to be brought back into full show mode, but the audio kept on glitching and the ride vehicle stopped multiple times. The attraction was definitely experiencing some temperamental issues. This is what happens when you gaze into the eyes of Mara. Don't do it. The great thing with Disneyland, though, is that when you don't get the full ride experience, you can ask to stay on the ride vehicle, and a cast member will be more than willing to let you go again. Number 1 Now, the Jungle Cruise boat isn't the only thing that sunk at Magic Kingdom in 2020. <laughs> This video here was posted on Twitter of a ride breakdown on August 2nd that resulted in a log sinking just after the finale. As the log began to fill up with water, the guests were luckily able to escape the lap bars and get out before it fully sank. It's kind of ironic that behind them there's a sign that says boat rentals, which would be very helpful in this situation. Now similar situations to this have happened in the past, but in the grand scheme of things, it's extremely rare that a log takes on this much water and sinks. According to a former cast member, each log has a small flap valve at the bottom by your feet. It's only supposed to open in one direction to drain the logs, but sometimes debris can wedge the valve open and it lets water in. That's probably what happened here. Thankfully, everyone was safe, and I understand that there are safety protocols that are in place for a reason, but if it was me, my instinct would be to get out of the sinking log as well, no matter how shallow or deep the water is. So have you ever broken down or experienced a malfunction on a Disney ride? What was that experience like? I'd love to know. Leave a comment down below to start a conversation, and don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video.